Anyhow, anyway. October 18th, 11.08 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I... I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So, who is the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know, fam? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anybody would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! But what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting somebody else that could conceivably have done this. Right. I... <laughs> and it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. Shut up, this doesn't concern you. <laughs> it literally concerns me. <laughs> this is lawyer business. Go back to being a gentle giant or something. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. I'm a murderer, apparently. That's hey, what Nick, it's looking like, it's you time. murderer. Please don't get me Okay, in let's jail. go. Oh, he's still talking to me. <laughs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to accuse somebody who I have no idea if they did it or not. Accuse the judge. Excuse oh, me. Man. Accuse Edgeworth. <laughs> the court will now read. Don't argument. do that. He's handsome. Mr. Edgeworth. Will Actually, you the present the prosecution's handsome. thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was, was a boy roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. Mm. There is another person who could have committed this crime. It is alternate universe. The defense completely agrees with the prosecution. They're guilty as fuck. Um, <laughs> are you about That's to what I've been saying the whole time. Yeah. Are you about to accuse a child of murder, Phoenix? Are accuse we? Wendy. Order. Interesting. She's there to prosecute. That won't buy us a day. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. Remember, yeah, Seiko, we it. only have to uh, buy enough time for the trial to end today. We don't have to, like, go out. Uh, oh, okay. That makes sense. It'll take them long enough to shoot us down that the judge is like, screw it, we're going to tomorrow. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. So wait, are you telling me this judge is hours capped? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know, actually. I think I right. think what it is is <laughs> that like, if it seems like there's not enough information on the table and things have to be reinvestigated, it the... already seems that way to me. <laughs> well, th that that not to not to mr prosecutor who is uh trying to um argue that they have all the information they need. yeah we gotta yeah, remember we're basically guilty until proven innocent now mm. right but peanut's character is just being you know 
actually, no. We're basically guilty until we're proven innocent and we found the other murderer. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be proven innocent and prove someone else guilty. This world's messed up. It is. Yep. Um, that's, why, that's why lawyers are, like, superheroes. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So... It was the stake that killed him? Person ...other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder. Who do we think? Who do we think? I mean, the security lady could feasibly have done it. Yep. She has the ability to erase the evidence. She can actually, mm -hmm. like... Yeah, you know, she makes the access. most sense out of these three. The assistant girl, though, does also have access to all of the same, like you know, equipment and everything, she could also, like, feasibly do it. But I think we're meant to assume that she's a small girl, too weak, could not do it. I think it's also, more so that the security lady said she wasn't there. Also, they made a point of saying earlier that the assistant wasn't at the rehearsal, so, so she didn't know that Will Powers would have been walking with a limp. She wouldn't have, yeah, she wouldn't have known in order to do it. Yeah, it's right. Yep, alright. Security lady. Ugh. It was the security lady, Wendy Old Bag. <clears throat> uh -oh. The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnapper! She's guilty. Order, order. Is this true, old bag? <laughs> Are you? Would you just kindly admit to murdering him so that we can just close this case real easily? Old bag, that's Ms. Old Bag to you. Ms. Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Mm. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through this trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Definitely oh, detective, yeah. not right a lawyer. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2, baby. Electric hmm? Boogaloo. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection, some new damning evidence? Where's the updated he autopsy report? Right well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Maybe an updated autopsy report. Hey, or... I'm not her lawyer. <laughs> the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Oh my God, Edgeworth, are you trying what? to get this woman killed? What's that killed? supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it, Edgy boy? Don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Let's give Granny a break. We just want to delay things. I guess this does kind of make it look like she's the killer. Funny, I feel bad for her all of a sudden. We don't want, we don't want like an innocent to go to jail. It is true that the witness could conceivably have committed this crime. Yet we must not forget the victim was an action hero. As formidable as her personality may be, I doubt she'd be strong enough. Uh-oh. If he removes her for consideration, that means Mr. Powers is it. Sorry, Windbag, but I don't have a choice. Mm. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day! But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? Mm-hmm. You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Mm -hmm. I could actually think of one. 
You you were you were upset that the guy had been reduced to being a villain, and you wanted the main guy Max Powers to be in trouble, that or something. Calm down, Phoenix. You're the defense attorney. Mm. Yes, I would also like to point out that she likes Hammer. That's a good point. Yeah. Why would she kill Hammer to indict? To make it so he dies before his career gets any worse than it already is. Oh, shit. That's possible. Go out of legend. That yep. did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. My feelings are very hard. My feelings are very hard. <laughs> what about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler. As you said, second or third grade, was it? Th that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Mm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy's not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? We do. Indeed. We do. Apparently. I... <laughs> then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could, who. My could attorney badge! This, this murder? Um, because he. could. uh. So, what are you thinking, Steve? Um, my, thing, my thought is maybe the card key. Well, yep, like, yeah, but idea. we found thought. that there's a way to crawl in. Didn't no, but not into that. that the spear was too heavy? That's, that's, oh, well, you're right. You're right. You can't crawl in there. But she just said she was strong as a child. So, like, how can we prove if the kid could carry the spear or not? There are strong. No, no, I was thinking the card key, but I thought yeah. that he could crawl into that area. But that's not the same area. No, it's not the same area. Then it's got yeah. the card key, right? Yep. Because I give you entry in Studio One. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. I definitely did know this and wasn't just questioning this internally. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. And there's definitely not a grate there that you can crawl through, unlike the other studio. Mm. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <sighs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. I don't know either. I just want this day to end. I just work here. <laughs> the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. Court. This court is adjourned. Clink. Oh, wait a second! Oh shit! Whoa, we I'm haven't even seen our final video. form. Why you all run off barking up the wrong tree? Me, I'm talking. Uh. Still, I'll never stop. I run <laughs> this courtroom now. Oh great! You're so all trapped in here with me. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Have you again? been a naughty girl? <laughs> Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Oh, perjury. Not to talk and... about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Yeah, usually that is me, but it wasn't this time. <laughs> well, testify. Yeah, who's this other- Hold on, hold on, pause. Don't testify yet. I feel really bad for Edgeworth in this case. He got fucked over big time. <laughs> Nobody really told him anything. Holy shit. Alright, go ahead. He was incredibly unprepared. He pulled a phoenix. 
Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. That's perjury. Miss yes, Oldberg, yes it is. This is crucial information that, that like, you, you'll go to jail for this. Why did you keep this from the court from now? No, oh, you guys don't send anybody to jail for anything. Ain't you my wolf, then? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Actually, I like we send her. people to jail for literally everything. We don't give them fair trials, but... No, oh, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I Damn love it. the fake-out ending of the trial there. Yeah. And then Old yeah. Bag brings it back. Her final form. Oh, man. Let's see here. They wanted her to Where's the quiet. obvious press? There were some other people. Press this. Spears. There you go. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who were these other people? Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? That is a good point. Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer at around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Did you even look at the map, Mr. Wright? You thought the game devs would add a Studio 2 to the map that you couldn't go to right away? And, like not have it be relevant <laughs> i was wondering why we couldn't go i wanted yeah, to go to studio too. yeah well if you look at the guide map that none of you have apparently looked at here it is right in the middle mm. Mm. you go through the gate and all the way to the left mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. i think it's a monkey well, Mr. Wright, mm -mm. would you like to continue the cross-examination? Objection! I don't believe that there is actually a studio, too, Your Honor. <laughs> I went there, and I could not go left down that path. There was a monkey head in the way. How did they cross the monkey head? There's no yeah. possible way. It was blocked off. Pervious. I'll, I'll just travel. tell you you're done here. Um, yeah, I think, you don't need I to think keep that's going. enough. Thank you. <laughs> Your Honor... We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Mm. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned! I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. Quick, let's get out of here before she says anything else. <laughs> the prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. <laughs> I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Only two more days left, and then he goes to jail forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Court is adjourned. Mm, only two days left in my... <laughs> God damn it. October 18th, 1.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3, inching closer to his inevitable conviction. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really, it's nothing. Oh, or should I... Who are you? 
We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination! While you're out, can you grab me a T-bone steak? <laughs> so, Nick... Have we figured out just who it, was, who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? It was me. Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Miss Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, you she, should. she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and Mr. Powers was taken away in chains. Oh my god. I'm going to jail now. Unfortunately, their tires broke down, and they had to delay for a day or two, and it was too late, so he was sent away guilty. <laughs> he was sent to the gas chamber right then and there. Everyone understood well, it was a simple accident, but there was nothing they could do. The three days were up. Unfortunately, I don't get a last meal in this world, so no more T-bone steaks. Oh my god. <laughs>